M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Senhei 8900 device. You can see it's dual band with POC radio. We've got the software here, which I will put a link on my Facebook page for you so you can download that just here where I'm circling. Okay. Uh, it was emailed to me from Senhei. It's not completely finished because look, it's still in Chinese, but I managed to, to decipher it. Plug in your USB C cable, which I've Quite pleased that you can do that there. Pull down the flap, of course, and behind that flap, you can also add your SIM card. So I put one in there for now. Now, I wouldn't want to put my normal one in there, really. I'd have to buy a, a cheap one that's about £10 a year, if you ask me. But the SIM card part is for the POC part. It uses 4G to connect to the internet and then log you into a POC app, which I've not learned about yet. Right now, we're just looking at the VHF, UHF, and it is an airband radio and it does work very well on airband i've heard it already um, come in and it's nice and clear and so is the 8, 800 and 8, 600 so i'm just going to do the obvious really so at the top here you don't have to select a com port it automatically finds it so you'll see there where i'm selecting it's in chinese and the bottom one the bottom tick is actually saying automatic detect okay so that's that and then on the left you've got read and write okay read and write we have just read from the radio now just to show you it working. Hopefully it will uh, play ball. We'll click it, you get another window, and then we do that, and you can see it's quite fast. And then to write to the radio, you can see it rebooting there. To add frequencies, no different than any other radio, like TRD radio, Quan Shangs, they all look the same in the way of programming. So if I just add one new one here, we'll go to 430 dot nine two five and then we don't need a tone on receive so we go up off and then on we need the transmit frequency so four three um, eight dot five two five like so or did I type that wrong four three eight dot five two five there you go you do need a tone it's a CT CSS tone 70 centimeters, 77 hertz, and then you've got other selections here. Cool, blimey. What's that? We need it in English. And I have said to them, but one will be power, that's the main one. And to name the channel, cool, blimey. Let's find the name section a minute. And the funny thing is, I've been uh, converting all this, look, using a, a, a program called Yandex. So you can do, download Yandex and you can convert radio, dual, tone, multi DTMF, frequency mode, channel list. The software does work, we just need the right language. <laughs> okay, I managed to get the name in. You can see it there on the top right. I've set that to the radio just by sending the send button. You'll see that it now you can see the name. Now it, you can change this on the software, but if you go menu across, I'll do that again. Menu to the right, radio set menu. Go to channel set, then go down to MDFA menu. You can choose, you know, the name now on A and B band. So I'll be doing detailed videos on, on the functions, but I just want you to show that if you do decide to select it to show memory names, that's how. I'll do one last little check before we end the video. I've, I've emailed them to send me details, you know, software that works in English. I'm going to select POC and look at this. Now, I don't use POC. I've never used POC, really. There's an app that I tried once, but this is proper POC. So I'm gonna, I need to learn POC. You see that I selected POC and you've got these different things. I don't even know if I even can use it in the UK, to be honest. Um, so lots more to learn. There's DTMF there. We'll just go around clicking some of the items anyway and just see what shows up. VFO A and B, so that's what it starts off at. So it makes sense to put your favorite in there. So I'm gonna change that one to four, three, four. 550, which is my hubnet node, which is my favorite. 77, I'll put them both for now. 
and you can do A and B. That's air band I've got there. You saw POC, that's just the same as read and write. Let's see the W read and write. That's automatic COM port, that's just info. Look, it's even dated 2024, so it's, it's really brand new here. Yeah? Then you can save and export, save files. So I think that's enough for today. Thanks for watching so far. Yeah, we've got more to learn on this device. Um, it's, you know, you love this sort of design. You love it or you hate it. It's, it's quite unusual. And look at the torch feature. Uh, there's like a, if I press the orange button on top, watch this. That's torch, but look. Disco, like a disco now. So yeah, I, I can see what they're trying to do with this, but it's, yeah, it's early days. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now.